Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you are doing well. The first Wednesday of the year, we are on the prayer line. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for waking us up. Not just waking us up, but you woke us up in our right mind the first Wednesday of the year. So do me a favor when you guys come in, click, tag, and share. This morning, we're talking about the audacity to get up. Yeah, yeah, the audacity to get back up again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. When you come in, please, please share this. Please tag somebody. Put their name in the comment section. And yes, that is me playing. So when they go through the craziness of you don't own the rights to this song, I do own the rights to this song. I own the rights to all my songs. Praise Jehovah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, you are more than enough. Gee, that ain't even the title of the prayer. Gee. Yes, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for the crossover. God, I thank you for you didn't just cross us over. We still got a piece of our minds. I ain't going to say our whole mind because now 2023, it tried it. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Lord. The first Wednesday of the year. God, I thank you. Oh, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. God, I give you glory. God, I give you honor. God, I give you praise. Woo! Lord have mercy. Millions didn't make it. But we were the ones that did. And for that, we give him a major praise. Yeah. A thunderous praise. A glorious praise. Better is one day in your court. Lord. Yes, Lord. There's no place I'd rather be. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. God, thank you for the ability to be in our right mind. Thank you for the ability to wake up with our children. Thank you, Lord. I went out the year 2023. Oh, I know 2024 is about to be major because both my babies were in the seats my children came to church on New Year's Eve and worshiped with our church. Yes, the church they were raised up in. And I just, when I looked at them, I said, God, I thank you. And my husband was looking from the pulpit. We just couldn't do anything but give God praise. Because it could have been another way. Yeah, they could have been out doing crazy stuff, losing their minds. But God, I thank you. Good morning, good morning. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ah, somebody's grateful that you crossed over into another year. But you're not just grateful. You already got your praise God list. Thank you for this. God, thank you for, for, for keeping me. God, thank you for employment. God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I know every time I think about stuff, I give them another praise. Every time my mind rolls back on how 2023 almost consumed us, but God said no. God said touch not. God said, get your hands off my people. We're not here by happenstance. We're only here by the grace of God. And that's why when I tell people, make the best of this year. Make sure you shout every time you think about something that the enemy did. But God blessed us in spite of. God took us over in spite of. That is praiseworthy. That is praiseworthy because if the enemy had it his way, 
You and I would not be here if he had any authority over your lifeline. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You would not be standing. You would not be here. You would not be breathing. God, I thank you. Oh, I thank you. We had the audacity to get back up. Ah, after being knocked down, we didn't lay down. We had the audacity to get back up. We had the audacity to go try again. We had the audacity to think for ourselves enough out of a situation to know this too shall pass. Who am I talking to this morning? Good morning, good morning. Great, put my glasses on so I can see folks coming in. Thank you. Please invite somebody to church. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning for the people. Well, good day for the people who will chime in later. But this morning, I wanted to tell y'all that the Lord gave me a title. I never heard this, and if, if y'all did, forgive me. I, I, I promise I didn't jack this from nobody else today. The audacity to get up again. Somebody say, I have the audacity to get up again because it's restoration season. Ha! It's restoration season. Oh, my God. And this morning, I stopped by. To tell y'all, I see all my sores, my classmates, my family. I love y'all so much. We made it. We made it. We made it. This morning, I'm coming from two passages of scripture. I'm coming from two passages of scripture. We are in Joel 2 and 25. Ha! We are in Joel 2. Starting with verse 25. And if I can read it from the Message Bible, and I'll just kind of read the first one out of the KJV, but let, 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 let's us go to the Message Bible. We are in Joel 2, starting with 25. It says, I'll make up, talking about God, for the years of the locusts, the great locust, devastation locust, savage, locust, deadly, fierce locust, locust of doom, that great locust invasion, wait for it, that I sent your way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we miss that? Did we miss that when we were saying scripture? Did we miss that part? It said, the great locust invasion that I sent your way. We're talking about this was not the enemy who sent this. The Lord sent this. He made this happen. But like David say, I was glad. It was good for me that I was afflicted so that I may see your statues, that I may keep your ways, that I may walk through what you tell me to. Now, it, God said, I sent this your way. But he said, you'll eat your fill of good food, meaning it's going to turn around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You'll, be a, you'll be full of praises to your God, the God who has set you back on your heels in wonder. I had the audacity to get up again. Then it says, never again will my people be despised. You'll know without question that I'm in the thick of life with Israel. That I'm your God. Yes, your God. The one and only real God. The true and living God. Never again. Never. Somebody say never again. Never again will my people be despised. And then if you crawl on up to KJV, yeah, you scroll on up. It says, Joel 2.25, and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Now, I know you're saying, wow, evangelist, because I'm saying this to myself. We just breezed on through the fact that this storm was sent by the Lord. What, what, what do you do? What do you do, beloved, when it ain't the enemy who you can blame for what just happened? What do you do? What do you do when God allows you to go through? What happens 
God, give me the grace. Give me the strength, the ability to handle what you allow. But is it to make me better? Is it so that I won't keep sleeping and acting like all the blessings and the things that I have in my life, it was no None of my skill, it wasn't my money, it wasn't because of whatever, whatever. No, 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 no. When the great locust, hey sis, baby, when the great locust came, they weren't sent by the enemy because the word says so. He says, my great army, which I sent among you. The great army being a representation of every bit of hell that you had to go through. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 listen, listen. 2023, we saw some things, or 2022 may have been your year. It may have started at 2020, and you're like, okay, Lord, am I going to breathe again? Am I going to ever get back on track, get my footing again? God said, I'm going to give you the audacity to get back up again. I'm going to restore you as if it never happened. I'm going to bless you abundantly. More than when you went into the storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It may have knocked your house down, but it was made of wood, perhaps. And and, and things were able to go in. You know how termites get into the wood structure and it can mess your house up? He said, I'm going to this time. Build your house on a solid foundation. You will know who did it. You will never take my credit. And you will testify that had it not been for the Lord. On my side, where would I be? I don't hear y'all this morning. Listen, I need for somebody to say, I have the audacity to get back up. And I just don't have the audacity to get back up. I got the audacity, the mitigated gall to stand up up again. Listen, not to get up again, stand up again, walk again, run again, go back for it again, go back and reapply for the loan, go back to school, go back to that idiot boss who refuses to give you a promotion and let them know, thanks but no thanks. You throwing me crumbs and I deserve the whole cake. No, no, no. If I can stop by to tell somebody in this season, God is giving you resource. The source is blessing you. You ain't got to beg nobody else for nothing. You going to walk on your own two feet and nobody gets the glory but the Lord. Say, I got the audacity to get back up again. I got the audacity right in the face of those who tried to throw you in a well. But guess what? What people don't realize is when they throw you in a well and throw dirt on your name, you packing it, baby. They throwing dirt and you packing it. They don't understand that when they throw dirt, I am not only going to get up, but I'm going to use that same dirt to build from it. Who am I talking to? You ain't got to be worried about what people say. You ain't got to be worried. If you came into 2024, Jesus, with any residue of 2023, we got a problem, Houston. So you mean to tell me the Lord delivered me from the hand of the enemy, my mind. God, you gave me a big portion of my mind. God, I came out with a big portion of my heart. Some of my heart stayed there. People died. People that you love, you had to bury them. You had to go through the, the trauma and, and the devastation of your heart being broke. Some people left you, but can I tell you something? If you have the audacity, who am I, who am I speaking to? To get back up again, God can bless you again. Somebody say, I got it. I got it. I got it. And then the Lord said, I, I want you to see how bad this thing really was. Go all the way to Joel 1 and 4. And it said, that which the palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten. And that which the locust hath left, the canker worm ate it. And that which the canker worm hath left, hath the caterpillar ate. Who am I talking to? Don't you know that it was back to back 
to back. I can't even get up and breathe. Here come the palm worm. Oh, and what he didn't finish, here come the locust. Oh, wait for it. What the locust didn't finish, here come the canker worm. And the canker worm, it was the caterpillar. I'm like, Lord, if it wasn't for bad luck, it seemed like we wouldn't have luck at all. Can I tell y'all something? Can I tell y'all something? After the back to back to back hits, all you got to think about is, woo, I'm in a good position for blessings. Oh, Lord, I didn't go through it for naught. Oh, all this hell that I had to go through. Nah, Lord, y'all know you promised me. You the ultimate promise keeper. I know all the hell that I went through. It ain't for no good. It ain't for naught. I ain't just going through it for nothing. Who am I talking to this morning? Who actually has the audacity to get back up and not wallow in shame, not wallow in pain, not wallow in your past mistakes. Child, you did it. Get yourself back up. Get yourself together and get to moving. Ain't nobody got time to be worried about that. So what? It didn't work. Get yourself together. Who am I speaking to? Who am I speaking to? God said, I'm going to make up. I'm going to make up. For the years of back-to-back -back devastation, I'm going to make up for the years of back-to-back -back loss. Oh, here come the business plan. Failed again. Denied again. Oh, they didn't approve you again. Listen, just because one didn't do it, don't mean that God ain't going to put somebody else in position to bless you better. Oh, you were going to give me a 3.5%? How about I got a 1.5%? I don't even know if they got loans that, that low. But I tell you what. One man's no is another man's yes. If the relationship didn't work, baby, you ain't trash. Let me tell you something. You are a blessing. And where somebody didn't notice it, even in friendships, if they didn't want what you had to offer, shake the dust off and keep it moving. Somebody say, I had the audacity to get back up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. When you think about what the canker worm really is, it's mentioned several times in the word of God. In a spiritual context, the canker worm is used as a metaphor. Somebody say a metaphor for people who have been consumed by pain consumed with vices, consumed with greed, consumed of being the recipient of somebody else's pain. That's what it meant. That means that I can't even get a break before something else come and it's trying to mess me up. See, 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 uh, 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 false ambition, false humility, false expectations. All I know is, Lord, let me do what I can do. I ain't gonna look at what somebody else is doing. I ain't looking at nobody else's plate. God, if you can keep them away from my plate. Oh, Father God, I sure would be much obliged. Let me tell you something. When you think about I don't know if you've ever had a garden or if you think about the farmers. And listen, a locust, a caterpillar, a canker worm, a palmer worm is not what you want in your field. All of them have the ability to mess up your crops. Come on now. See, as a caterpillar, they're known for having huge appetites. They generally eat leaves, all kind of various plants, y'all, uh, can cause extensive damage to fruit trees, Crops, ornamental plants, hardwood trees, shrubs, they can consume three times their body weight. Let me put a pause right there. You mean to tell me I got to deal with something very small but deadly can eat three times its body weight. And this is what I'm dealing with? Yes, beloved, it is. But I got news for you. I got good news for you in the word of God. For those who are just coming on, we're in Joel 2.25. But at the end of that, it says, never again will my people be despised. After this storm, never again will you hurt like you hurt in that last season. Never again will your financial situation be completely out of control. I don't know who I need to talk to one-on-one -on -one today, but baby, can I tell you something? Amazon spirits, all these ordering spirits offline, going to the mall. Listen, can you go look in your closet after this prayer call? Model for yourself with the stuff that still got tags on it. 
Baby, this is the season where we have to stock up because if you had good crops in 2023, your crops may not grow this year like they did last year and you may have to live off of what you put in the kitty before. You can't eat up all of it. You can't spend it all. Somebody say, I got to have wisdom. I hate to tell somebody this, but you don't have a money problem. You got a discipline problem. It's not a money problem. Baby, I know people who have lived off $25,000, $30,000 a year better than somebody making $100,000. Trust when I tell you. It's what you do with it. I would rather have a minimal salary with a maximizing mind to save and to invest and to flip my money than to have $100,000 with $99,999 worth of bills. No. Somebody say it's time to save. Somebody say it's time to get serious. You too old to be going to buy here, pay here. We too old to be playing with our credit. We too old. God, give it to me. And I'm going to be a good steward over what you give me. If you are faithful over a few things. He's going to make us ruler over many. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but I need for about 10, 15 people, 20, 30. I need for you to make, I need for you to make a pact with yourself. Say, self, I will not leave out of 2024 shouting 2025 is my year broke. The devil is a liar. Who am I speaking to? The devil is a whole liar. Now, 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 God wanted me to tell you that we have the audacity to get back up again, but not just get back up again, get back and stay up. Somebody say, I'm getting up and I'm staying up. God said, if you trust me and you trust me for real, I'm going to bless you abundantly. I'm going to bless you better than you could ever imagine. I'm going to give you so much that you ain't going to even have room to, uh, 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 to, to hold it. You're going to have so much abundance on your plate. It's going to run over in your coffee mug. It's going to run over to your neighbor's uh, uh, saucer, your neighbor's plate. You ain't going to have to give from nothing. Uh -uh. You ain't going to have to give from nothing. Somebody say, I'm not giving from nothing. I'm not giving from nothing. I'm not giving from nothing. To God be the glory. Quit boohooing over the relationship that God didn't approve and ordain anyway. Uh-oh. The car repo. Okay, that wasn't your car. You wasn't ready. Because if it got repoed, it's one of two things. They jacked you or you jacked them lying about you could afford it. No, no, we ain't lying about to get no loans. We ain't lying to get exposure. We ain't lying to get this, that, and the other. No, it is what it is. If it ain't the season, then get you a reliable car for now and quit trying to flex and show people who you are, what you really don't have. You ain't even got the money to pay for it, but you flex and stop that. Quit booing. Listen, quit boohooing, trying to flex. I'm going to show them. Oh, okay. Well, the next time you show somebody, just make sure that you can hold on to it. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about what I lost. I'm not worried about that. I need to be in a solid position this year. Somebody say I'm solid. Somebody say I'm solid. God's going to give me double, triple for my trouble. God's going to make sure that I never have to go through that season again. The word of God says so. He said, I will make sure. What did he say? I'm going to make sure that my people never again will be despised. Listen, come on me. I'm solid. Sylvia, I'm solid. Wyoming, I'm solid. Isabel, I'm solid. Somebody type, I'm solid. So when, when, when all these different, you know, uh, 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 you know, this, 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 what am I trying to say? This example, thank you, Holy Ghost. This example of the palm worm. You know, uh, the Bible is, 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 is very horticultural. And if I mess that word up, y'all better, better correct me. They talk about 
the weather. They talk about different insects. They talk about types of animals, like a, like a deer that's panting for water. So my soul uh, 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 pants for thee or, or a thirst for thee. Uh, uh, it's different things. But when I saw this, Joel, in the description, not just in Joel 1 and 4, but in Joel 2 and 25, and I should have started with that, but I wanted you to see the severity of what this back-to-back -back crop eating season looked like for the people of God at that time. He said that which the palmer worm had left, the locust then came and ate it. And what the locust didn't eat, the canker worm came for it. And whatever was left here comes the canker worm, but wait for it. I mean, here comes the caterpillar. Like back to back to back. Have you ever been in a season to where you be like, God, can I just have a timeout? Hold up. Hold up, Lord. Hold up. And I'm talking, come on, Dr. Treadwell, every direction, pain, trouble, trauma. And you just, Lord, if I could just get a breath. Lord, if you, hold on. Hold on. Even if this storm is self-inflicted, Lord, if I could just breathe. The Lord said, I got good news for you. I'm going to make up for the years. <laughs> I'm going to make up for the years that everything attempted to consume you. And that includes you too. Uh-oh. Evangelist, what do you mean that includes me too? For the years of self-sabotage. For the years that you put yourself in positions to where the Lord wouldn't be. Listen, he could still reach you, but you didn't feel him. Oh, baby, God is always here. God is in our mistakes. He ain't never left us or forsook us. Let me tell you something. On those times, God kept you even when it was self-inflicted. But he said, wait for it. The sin is not unto death. Whatever you put yourself into, say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for my sins. Lord, help me not to ever go back and look. And let me just tell, let me put a pause right there. Sin ain't always something sexual. Sin is not always something dealing with alcohol abuse or this abuse or drug, you know, no. Sometimes the sin could be lack of trust. Oh, y'all didn't know that lack of trust not only breaks the heart of God, but he's looking like you're worried about something that I've already fixed for you. You're crying over a storm that I've already moved the clouds. You're just seeing the residue. <laughs> oh, God, thank you. I've already worked it out for you, even when you didn't trust me. How would you feel as a parent? Uh, listen, of your biological children walking around with a problem. They just sick with worry. You're right there. They bypass you and they still worry. Oh, you just ain't going to ask me to help you. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, I'm going to. That's pride, baby. That is what a definition of pride looks like. When you don't call on the problem solver. I will not. Oh, my God. I will not worship pain and not worship God. I am not going to worship the problem. Not when God has. Listen, he already showed me. If you trust me, if you have faith in me, I might not do it today, but baby, believe you me, if I don't pull you out the fire, I'm coming in. Ah! Even if I don't pull you out, because fire is refining, it will burn off all the residue of what the enemy attempted to latch onto you. God, keep me in the fire. If it means that I'm going to be as pure gold, okay, all right, I'm going to be platinum even. All right, all right, I, I got you. Don't take me out of anything prematurely until I learn my lesson. Oh, God, help me today. See, while we are starting the year off with who did what in 2023, that ain't our business. And listen, if you can start a mega church and you can pull people in and you can bless the people of God and you can have more good than bad, I promise you, give yourself a, a, a round of applause. Of applause. In, the, in, the, in, in, in our community, church folks, 
you can do 90% in excellence. 90% and 10% will take you under. Oh, I already hear y'all. Oh, she's agreeing with what, what's been happening and what's going on. I ain't saying nothing. But what I'm saying is, I am spending 2024 minding my business. I was so happy that I had every piece of my heart with me to bring in the new year. I can't tell y'all the last time I had both my children and my husband at the same location. It's always me and my baby. It's always me and my husband. But my children made an effort. They loved their parents so much. I didn't need nothing. Listen, my whole year is set. I got the audacity to get up. I got the audacity to breathe again. I got the audacity to try again because God already showed me a miracle. On the 365th day of 2023, God said, listen, never again, never again will my children not only be despised. You ain't going to no, no, you ain't gonna have to go through a heartbreak like you did in the previous years. See, see, the spiritual, the spiritual, I want to say crop, you know, when, when, when they cover the crop, somebody help me because y'all know I can't think this is too early in the morning. I ain't had no coffee. Whatever they do to spray the crops, which is really not good for us, you know, all when they, when they, when they keep the, the bugs away, that the pesticides, thank you, pesticides. It's what people, the farmers, do like this. They're doing like this to make sure that they kill the bugs that kill their crops. But inadvertently, they have to be careful not to put too much to where it will get in our system and kill us. So spiritually, check this out, child. We don't have to go through the, 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 the pesticides. In, 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 a, in a physical meaning, but God is bringing spiritual pesticides to kill every bug, every ninja, everything that tried to take your crops, everything that came up against you. God said, I got you. I got you. This year, it's going to be a cleansing like never before. Oh, my Lord, today, you're going to see things more clearly. You were in the woods. You couldn't tell. You couldn't tell. It was dark. God is about to give you spiritual illumination so that you can see and you don't have to walk in the dark. Not when we got the ultimate God. Who am I talking to? No, we're not getting ready to do that. Somebody said, I had the audacity to get up. I didn't just lay there. I didn't just wallow in it. I got up. It was hard, but I got up. My heart was broke, but I got up. I looked around, and I saw people entertaining mess that I would have never thought would have been in that circle, but God, but God, he said, you let them talk. You let them do what they're going to do. Me and you, we, 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 we got a love thing going on. And I'm going to bless you abundantly for every careless word that the enemy spoke against you. For every curse, every word curse that came up against you, God said, I am going to bless you. And I want you to look at all the bugs that are represented here. The palmer worm, the canker worm. The locust, the caterpillar. I need for you to understand that everything is a representation where you see whatever the bug, the insect. I want you to put what tried to take you out. Cancer couldn't take you out. Diabetes couldn't take you out. High blood pressure. The mere fact that you have a, 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 a something going on with you that the doctors still haven't figured out. But yet here you are. Yet here you are. Mental abuse. Physical, spiritual abuse. Yes, it does exist. All that. Look at wherever you see the word locust, canker worm, caterpillar, palmer worm. And you say, Lord, I survived. My crops, my spiritual crops survived. Everything, come on, Sonia. Everything that tried to come up against me, I'm still here. Somebody type, I'm still here. I had the audacity to get up. And can I tell you, can I tell you since we're here, can I bless you right quick? 
What we're going to do is live in 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Eyes have not seen. <laughs> Ears have not heard. Nor has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for us, for those who love him. If you in the I love you category, you're blessed. You doing well. God got his hands on you. He's going to bless you abundantly right in the face of the enemy. You ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to entertain it. You ain't got to keep worrying, going back. Oh, they did it. Oh, they... And you are not above being talked about. You are not above be, uh, being plotted against. Jesus was plotted against from the first miracle. Anytime you do something real big, real great, real powerful, you mean to tell me you're not going to be attacked? Well, well, just let go of the blessing. Don't even worry about it. Just don't even worry about it. Because anytime God has something big for you, the enemy is going to send his army. But as stated, in this case, oh, oh, no, no. The enemy can't take credit for this. What if when you look back over your life, you be like, Lord, have mercy today. Lord, I, I, that situation, God said, by any means necessary, I had to break your heart. To break up something that I never ordained. Ooh, who am I talking to? Ooh, ooh. I gotta take my braces off. He said, if I let you stay in it long enough, it would have took not just your breath away, it would have took your life away. It would have took your ministry away. You would have been so embarrassed and so ashamed. God said, I'm detaching you from stuff that had the, that had the ability to bring you down. God's trying to get you closer to him. Here come the enemy. Oh, oh, looking like, oh, 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 looking like a tall glass of cool water. She got every curve, uh, brothers. You just looking like, oh, she's everything that I could have imagined. You better check the fruit. You better check the fruit. Because sometimes green apples have worms in them. Sometimes a beautiful red apple is full of worms. You better check the fruit. You better try the spirit by the spirit. Lord, if you didn't send it, y'all know I say that all the time. If you didn't send this person, this friend, this employer, this employee, this person, this relationship, Lord, access denied. No, 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 no. When you got the audacity to get back up, you want to stay up. When you have the audacity, come on, Teresa, come on, Isabel, when, 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 Jackie, when, when, when you get up, you like, oh, I don't ever want to hurt like that again. I don't ever want to be in a position like that again, that my heart is broke. God had me wake up to tell you just because you had the audacity to get back up and get yourself together. He said, boy, bravo. You did that. You didn't cuss nobody out. Oh, look at you. I'm so proud of you. You didn't go off on me. You didn't stop trusting me. You didn't stop loving me. You didn't stop showing up. I'm so proud of you. See, see, it's a difference when I tell you, when a friend tells you, girl, I'm so proud of you, dude. You did that. But when God stamps you and approves you after a season that you had to go through full of hell, that's right, Isabel, but we're still here. We're still here. Somebody said, I'm still here. I got the, listen, I got the right to praise God. I have the right to to shout in the face of the enemy. I have the right. I have the receipts to prove that I passed go. Listen, I got an A. Well, not really A. I might have got a C in the season, but I still had a passing grade. I'm still here. The enemy has, has no authority. It hurt. It hurt. It was a bruise, but it wasn't a tattoo. You ain't got to look at it up. Listen, if you hit your hand or your arm or something like that, and, and if you bruise easily, it, it'll kind of whelp up. You'll kind of see the little bruise. Well, in a few days, it's going to go away. So if, you, if you stop messing with it. But I guarantee you, in a two or three week time frame, it ain't going to be there. It wasn't a tattoo. No, the pain that you went through wasn't for you to just stay gone. Oh, I'm just quitting everything. I ain't it. No. Mm-mm. 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 
when I tell you that God has something so good for you, so good for me, touch yourself and say, God, thank you. Thank you that I survived the worst season of my life. God, thank you for the fact that you're about to blow my mind. God, I thank you for the fact that I make a solid declaration that I will never let go of your hand. God, I make a solid declaration that you have blessed me so good that I owe it to you. You deserve my praise. You deserve my worship. On the first Wednesday of this year, it didn't have to be this way. I didn't die in my sleep. I didn't die in 2023. It did not consume me. Somebody say, but I had the audacity to get up. I had the audacity to get up. I dare you. To talk to any situation that looks like it done crept itself in to 2024. I dare you to talk to that thing. Say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I will not have a repeat. It's a leap year, but I'm not going to have a leap year. <laughs> I'm not going to have a duplicate of the pain that I had to go through. No, 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 no. Even though the groundhog, it may see its shadow, whatever the case may be. Lord, you ain't going to let me live in the past. We are forward thinkers. We are in the we are in the now and the future. You couldn't do anything about your past if you wanted to. Listen, you are not that powerful. I am not that powerful to go back and undo what was done. But for today, somebody said, I'm going to do better. 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 Ain't nobody great sneak in. Ain't nobody great come in my life and God ain't approved you. No, I love you, but we can be associates, but be very careful with who you call friend because that's when you get your heart broke. Who am I talking to? Somebody said, I'm making a solid declaration that this is going to be the best year of my life. This is going to be the best year of my life. Don't y'all forget, invite somebody to church even after the fact. Share this. Let somebody know that if they got the audacity to get back up, God has the audacity to bless them again. But this time better. Who am I speaking to? Oh, he delights in outdoing himself. Who am I speaking to? Who am I speaking to? And listen, we can get off the line just a little bit early this morning. Listen, I want you to understand. That's why Isaiah 43 and 18 says, remember not, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Stop. That's enough. That's enough. I'm not thinking about former. I am forward and focused on my future. I'm not thinking about the former things. I'm looking forward to my future because I don't have the ability to undo what's happened. If I had the ability to go back and pull my loved ones back here in the earth, don't you think I would do that? But when you think about it, you mean to tell me you're going to dethrone them? They got a robe and a crown and they're coming back. To this earth, this, this, this mean world? No, that is the reward that they got. When our loved ones passed over, God was right there. Can't, can't, listen, I'm, 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 not, I'm not just 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 running to get to glory. I, I want to fulfill my purpose in the earth. But when it's my time, that's an upgrade that I took. I preferred the upgrade over this, this model. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you go to a rental car place, if you had to go to one, they give you the ability to upgrade. What's up, big brother? They give you the ability to upgrade. Somebody say, God, thank you for the ability for me to upgrade my situation. Now, if you want to go back and you want to wallow in who hurt you, who talked about you, the, even the death of a loved one, they got the reward. It's heartbreaking. God, if I had it differently, oh, Lord, have mercy. But we don't. We don't. We have to appreciate who we had. We have to love and thank God for, for the years that they get. Listen, for my whole entire life, I had my brother David. 56 years, I had my brother. Yeah. But he went on to glory. And there's nothing I can do about that. But rejoice and tell God, thank you for the years that you did give him. Because we all have a date. 
And that's why I talk, that's why I woke up this morning to talk to y'all. If you have the ability, the audacity to get back up, God can not only do it again, but he's going to do it better. He's going to do it better. Somebody say better, 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 better. He's going to do it better. He's going to do it better. Your financial situation was looking crazy. I got something for you. Proverbs 10 and 22. He says, the Lord, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and you add no sorrow with it. That means that this next level of financial blessing that we're about to get, it ain't going to hurt. It ain't going to cost us our, our, our peace, our sanity. We're not compromising. No, no, no. Blessed and not burdened. Blessed and not burdened. No sorrow attached to the blessing that I'm about to get. The finances I'm about to get. For some, the love of your life. It ain't going to be. It ain't going to be no situation where you got one eye looking. You loving them, but you looking. Is you going to hurt me too? Or am I going to go through the same thing I went through before? God said, no. I'm not giving you a replica of even what you lost. I, I'm upgrading you all the way. Oh, oh, in the past you had that model, but guess what? You're going to have an entirely different model that they ain't even got on the showroom floor. I don't want nothing replaced. I want new. Somebody say, I want the new, new. I want the new, new. Please understand that your ladder will be greater than before. Everything that God allowed to be lost, God said, I'm doing it, but doing it better this time. Don't keep worrying. Don't keep worrying me. <laughs> God said, you worry some. I'm not taking you back there. I'm not going to allow that person to come back in your life. You praying, Lord Jesus, let them go. God, God said, you want the old model? We ain't even got the parts for that anymore. Woo! Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We're begging God and they don't even make the parts for that old model no more. Somebody say, I want a brand spanking new. Every time I want, I want to just smell the new on it. God, I want to smell the blessings that you gave me. God, I want the new. I don't want everything that the, that the devil stole. God's giving back to me. And that's beautiful. I love me some Dorinda Clark Cole. That is one of my mentors. But baby... Baby, I've sung that song a million times, but I tell you on today, I don't want nothing back that the enemy tried to take from me. Or if he took it, boo, you can have that. You can have Don't even worry about it. Don't even, yeah, I'm good. You want to, mm-mm. Because if you give it back to me, you done, you done wore it out so much. What am I going to do with that? No, I'm just waiting on a new model. Go ahead, sure, you can have it. Because when you know God is about to bless you and you sitting on a blessing and in your spirit, you looking like a little kid. You're like, God, do it again. God, thank you, Lord. God, thank you. Because you must understand all the hurt, the pain that you went through. It wasn't for no. Who am I speaking to? Don't you know that God still shall supply all of our needs? According to his riches and glory. Don't you know that the scripture still stands true? I'm shouting for stuff that makes no logical sense. On paper, you looking like that don't even add up. It don't. It don't even make sense. Sure it don't. But I trust God. How you going to do it? I don't know. I don't know. I told my husband, I said, when I was a little girl, 4026 Chestnut in Kansas City, Missouri, I used to stand on the banister. My mom be looking for her mop or her broom. I got it. Acting like it's a microphone. And those who knew, those who grew up with me knew I was a dreamer. I was, I would just do crazy stuff. I, I just, my thought process. I was one of them kids that a, that a pretty car. That's my car. That's my car. Oh, that's mine. Yep, that's my car. Even as a child. God wants you to have childlike faith again. We didn't know that we couldn't have it. We didn't even realize that we were prophesying to ourselves as children. God said, what happened to that person who used to trust me before the storm came? What happened to that person that before you really got knocked down, you stood up with your head up like a peacock? What happened? And I don't mean proudly, like you just looking down on people. No, but in your spirit, man, this is how I see you. God has said, this is a, I need for you to pick your head up. Pick your head up. It's a clip on uh, YouTube or it's like Instagram or whatever. Two basketball players. Something happened. 
And, and, and one of the basketball players looked disappointed. He was kind of walking. And his teammate came and pushed his head up. Spiritually, I'm your teammate that's going to push your head up. Get yourself together. Don't you let the enemy see you sweat. We better than this. Child, let's better luck next time. Come on, let's try to get something else. Don't worry about that. That's why if you got a friend, if you got a sister or a brother that is an encourager, that's who you want to hold on to. You don't want the gossiper. You don't want the one that's constantly sending you bad stuff. You don't want the one that's reposting mess on their page the second day of the year. Are you kidding me? Or really the first day of the year? I'm looking at that like, yeah, wait a minute. So God took us into a whole nother year. And you're bringing in the residue from close the portal of pain and gossip and slander and foolishness and judgment. Close the portal so that God can bless you abundantly. If there was an entryway into sin, believe you me, it's an exit. If it was an entryway to gossip and mess and foolishness, show it to the door and padlock it. Never again. Will you entertain conversations that do not bring you, uh, uh, bring God glory and bring you down? Don't you know that when you sit up in the midst of it, your mind will go towards that? You miss the blessing. That little 10 minute conversation, God was about to pay off all your bills. You was about to be debt free. But no, here you let little Mill, uh, uh, Miss Little Sally Walker come and she want to gossip about everything. Girl, did you see what was on the news? Did that? No. No. No, I'm in a season of how bad do you want it? I'm in a season to where at 56, y'all, I didn't even realize I'm going to be 57 years old this year. That don't, that, it don't even make no sense. Not when I wasn't supposed to see 30. Not when I wasn't supposed to see 40 or 50. I am three years. God bless me and let me see. I am almost 60 years old. And you think I'm not going to trust God with everything I got? Y'all, 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 we need to get better. We need to get better. When you understand, come on, Renee, when you understand how this thing works, come on, Connie, God is going to bless us because we got back up. 2023's hell It's 2024's breeding ground for blessing. Somebody says it's breeding ground. My testimony just needed an upgrade. Woo! Thank you, boo. My testimony needed an upgrade. I'm going to speak to anything that God wants me to have. God, if it be your will, can I get that in this season? God, if it be your will, can you do this? God, if it be your will, you have not because you ask not. No, 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 no. We'll ask man for something way before we ask God. And God's looking like, once again, I had an opportunity to do it. But you went to somebody who don't even like you. You went to tell your business to somebody who's going to be a megaphone. When you get to the point, it's only the 3rd of January. If the 1st and the 2nd didn't look so bright for you, don't worry about it. But before you release anything in the open, that somebody can use against you. Journal it and just talk to God. Has he ever told your secret? Nope. Have you ever heard it again when you talk to God only? Nope. Because people who you tell some things to really are eager to break your heart. Woo! I got the audacity to get back up. I got the audacity to get back up. The power of death and life. Life and death are in your tongue. You got to stop speaking death if you want to see life. Listen, it don't go together. Darkness and light, they clash. They no, 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 no. Be the light that goes into the dark and illuminate everything. Don't merge in. You don't want to look like everybody else. Listen, be sure that your good isn't spoken evil of. I want to be in a position to where God, listen, I, I, I prayed about this. I got your approval. And, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do two things. This year, we're going to be better stewards over us. Uh-oh. What you mean? I can't be in nobody else's business. I can't get nobody else no advice. And I don't even follow. Nope. 
Nope. Somebody say new year, new season, new opportunities, new mindset, new level of wealth and health. I am going forward this year. Don't look back on what didn't work. Don't look back on who wasn't uh, supportive of you. Don't look back. See, see, see the mere fact that you were persecuted, you were provoked. You were perplexed, perplexed some days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you left out and you still had a praise and a prayer, don't you know that the gates of hell almost completely lost their mind? And listen, what do you mean she's still praising? What do you mean he's still giving God's, God glory? I tried to kill you last year. You did. I had you up in the hospital. You did. But to God be the glory for all that he has done for us. Listen, wherever you are, say, God, thank you for giving me the audacity to get back up. Father God, we thank you. Woo, we thank you, God. We thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you if I had 10,000 tongues, God. I could not thank you and bless you and praise you enough. God, I thank you for everything that you have done for all of us. God, we thank you, oh God. We do not consider it robbery that you actually let us see a year that the enemy said that we wouldn't make it over. God, we even tried to talk ourselves out of getting to this year. But God, here we are. And we will give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Every opportunity we get, God, every time we think about it, we're going to give you a praise. Every time our mind rolls back, we're going to give you a praise. God, thank you for giving us the audacity to get back up and fight again. To get back up and love again. To get back up and be mobile in our ministry. God, we tell you thank you. God, we tell you thank you that if the enemy had it his way. None of us would be here, but God, thank you. Not just thank you for the fact that you brought us over, but thank you for bringing our friends and our family, our loved ones over with us, oh God. God, for that we give you honor, the glory. God, we tell you thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for being faithful. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, thank you that my current condition is not my conclusion. God, thank you. God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will not complain. I will not move out of position. I will not waver. I will not worry about what's not working. Not when it is the third day of the year and we get an extra day. God, we thank you. We thank you and we will forever give you the honor, the glory and all our worship and all our praise in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. I just can't thank him enough. God, we thank you. When the clock struck 12, coming into the, the new year, your mindset should have shifted. I will not have another year in Jesus' name like we did last year. Who's with me? Who's with me? Who, wants to, who, who, who got up and who wants to stay up? Never to be in a situation that will cripple you emotionally again. God, we tell you thank you. I love y'all. Can I tell y'all something? We're favored. We're going to be focused because God is faithful. He is. He is. He is. He's been faithful. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Y'all share this with somebody. Do me a favor. Share with your family, your friends, frenemies. I don't care who it is. Just let them know. They've got to have the audacity to get back up because we got 363 days left to, to, to be in the blessings of God. I love y'all. I love y'all. Javen, Big Brother Paul, I love y'all. Listen, Christy Cousin, I love you. Belinda, listen, Jack, listen, I love all y'all and I'm appreciative of you. I'm appreciative. I, I, I promise you. IG, I love y'all. Yana, I thank you, sis. I thank you for chiming in this morning. I thank all of IG. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, everybody. Because let me tell y'all something. It is only getting better from here. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.